the hypocrisy overruns the goodness that we do, not for us and God, but for what we have done to other people. And Jesus warns us more than once, being hypocrites is an abomination, a true sin. So we've got to be careful. We're under the microscope, especially if we come to church, especially if we pray, especially if we say to people, I'll, I'll pray for you, I'm going to church, and so on and so forth. Then we have a challenge. And the challenge is, by none other than God, to keep our word, to do what we say we do when we come here to pray. And prayer is the focus of today's first reading, and I thought we'd share that, the necessity of that for each other. It's Paul writing to the people of Thessalonica, which is Greece, thanking them for their support and encouraging them to keep supporting him and Silvanus and Timothy through prayer. He appreciates the prayer that they've been praying for them, for their security, for their ministry, for their gospel. But he encourages them to keep praying, enduring the faith. And then he says to the people of Thessalonica, I, I know you're suffering, 